Guys, I found a very strange Pokemon card box and apparently it contains over 100 ultra rares. Let's see exactly what I bought. FYI, I only bought it for 10 bucks. What's good everybody, Darkle here back at it again with And in today's video, let me just show you what's going down, bro. We got a Japanese pocket monster box with an Ultra Ball on the cover art. And then we also have GX box, 100 pieces, which I'm assuming that means 100 Ultra Rares. Guys, here's the tea, my guy. Here is the tea. This box costed a total of 10 dollars you feel me literally a 10 piece mcnugget meal and a cookie from mcdonald's that's how much this box costed let's see if it was worth the ten dollars apparently there's ultra rares in and out this thing so let's see if that's the case if you guys are excited y'all already know the drill bro smash that like button subscribe if you're new and comment down below to be featured in a video, my guy. I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's get down to business and let's see what's inside this box. If I can figure out how to open it. And I just realized Dialga and Palkia are on the back. Well, some of Palkia is on the back because it's literally cropped out. I think this is like a legend card, bro. If this is a legend piece, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, but that's dope. Now let's open up the box. Eventually. Here we go, guys. I got the box ready to go, and we can officially open it up, guys, and we can see what exactly is inside this box, bro. Is it gonna be a straight scam, or did we get over 100 Ultra Rares for 10 bones? You feel me? Let's find out right now, guys. Let's find out right now. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, I revealed it a little bit. Let's turn it around so we have some suspense, and look at that, guys. We got Pokemon cards, obviously. So here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We got ourselves the box, you know, with the Ultra Ball on one side, and then we got some legendary Pokemon on the other side. Here we go. Look at these cards. They actually look really good on the back, bro. Maybe, just maybe, these cards might be legit, my guy. Here we go, here we go. Let's reveal this stack on three, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, and... We got the Mega Charizard EX. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I thought this was supposed to be GX cards, my guy, because it literally says GX box on the front you feel me okay it's all good it's all good we're gonna go ahead and pretend that we don't see this megazard on the front we got the ash greninja ladies and gentlemen we got the mega venusaur is it mega blastoise nope mega charizard where's blastoise there it is we got the mega blastoise okay now we got some rainbow gx cards so i guess they added these ex cards as a bonus five additional ex pokemon cards which is pretty dope i'm not gonna lie and now we got the gx card so we got rainbows on rainbows on rainbows guys 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 i'm pretty sure you're looking at these rainbow cards right here say hello to umbreon but I'm pretty sure you guys are looking at these rainbow cards, and you're probably like, Where is the texture, Dark Ghoul? There's supposed to be texture on these rainbow cards. You're right. These cards right here are not legit, my guy. These are 100% fake, because obviously if it was a real rainbow card, it would have texture. It would have a better shine with the texture. I don't know about the back. Okay, the back, it kind of looks sus now, you feel me? It looked a little bit better with these EX cards, and now it looks a little bit sus, mainly with the contrast of the cards, you feel me? So we got the Rainbow GXs. What's next, bro? What's next? We got the regular, the regular GXs with some full arts. Look how bad this full art looks, bro. Wow. Lapras is literally blending in with the background that's crazy 
That is crazy. We got the Charizard, everybody's favorite. The overrated, but still amazing. Let's keep it rolling though, guys. Let's keep it rolling. We got more GX Pokemon cards. We got a shiny Umbreon, beautiful card from Hidden Fates. We got more full arts, more regular GXs. I'm pretty sure we're also going to see tag teams, bro. So I'm waiting for the tag teams. Look at all of these ultra rares, my guy. You can't deny that we have over 100 ultra rares right here in this video. Bootleg or not, bro, the fact that doesn't change you feel me we got the leafeon we got the chawizad what else do we got bro we got more gx pokemon cards we got some shiny action right there with lycan rock and leafeon come on bro where's the tag teams i'm ready for them tag teams bro if we can even make it to the tag teams because we are near the end guys we got the turtonator shouts out to turtonator bro i feel like turtonator needs a lot more love very underrated pokemon it's fire it's dragon it's a turtle bro what is there not to love moving on though guys moving on we are near the end of our gx cards and i just realized there is a lot of gx pokemon cards bro i mean it makes sense sun and moon arrow was pretty pretty long i'm not gonna lie we got the guardy full art we got some more full art action right here and it looks like we're going to end things off with the loon i was about to say lunala bro it's not a lunala it's a lorantis gx with the striped pajamas bro that goes absolutely crazy so definitely no gx's but we pretty much pulled every single gx known to man from sun and moon as well as five random ex cards you feel me so guys for 10 bucks you can get 100 gx cards that's like almost a million dollars in profit bro <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. I, ca I can't say that with a straight face. Guys, $10, you're getting yourself bootleg Pokemon cards. Specifically speaking, 100 bootleg Pokemon cards. You feel me? So, if you're into that, then this is the product for you. But, that is not the case for me. We're going to go ahead and crack into some real booster packs and... Hopefully, we can pull some heat. Here we go, guys. We're going to open up somewhat of a variety. We got some Obsidian Flames. We got some Paldea Evolve. Let's see if we can pull some Charizards or if we can pull the amazing Iono Gym Leader, which is my favorite Gym Leader from Scarlet and Violet. Let's get it. Here we go, y'all. We're going to start things off with none other than Obsidian Flames. I believe the only Charizard I pulled from this set is the Gold Charizard, so hopefully we can pull some other Zards, but let's see in our first pack. Okay, we got the Full Art Ortega, my guy. Check that out. The Fairy Specialist. You feel me? This right here is a very cheap, affordable, and beautiful full art, my guy. Definitely recommend if you're into fairy type trainers. So let's go ahead and put this in a sleeve, put it on the pool pile towards the right, and let's move on into some Paldea Evolved, which is, well, it used to be my most favorite Scarlet and Violet set, but now it's 151, obviously, but this is definitely the runner up for my favorite Scarlet and Violet set so far. Here we go. Nope, we didn't get anything from that set or that pack i should say back to some obsidian flames come on come on charizard where are you hiding my guy where are you hiding charizard we got a hollow with the code for the ghoul army okay so far all we got is a full art and y'all know in today's time full arts are nothing unfortunately i hate to say it bro but full arts are sadly not popular anymore which is depressing to say you feel me if you agree let me know in the comments down below what went wrong with full arts man they used to be the craze but now nobody cares about full arts unless it's a female trainer that super super popular because not even the other female trainers that are not that known they go for nothing and nobody cares about them you feel me people only care about the popular trainers guys so here we go 
Let's continue the show, guys. Let's continue the show. Just a hollow and nothing more. Okay. Okay, guys. We got three packs left. We got three innocent packs left. Come on. Come on. We got Charmeleon and a clay doll. Nothing more. Okay. Second to last pack. Second to last pack. We gotta have a heavy hitter in these packs. Heavy hitter, where you at? <laughs> nope, just a code card. Hopefully you guys are pulling some heavy hitters in the online TCGO. So this right here is the final pack. And since this is the final pack, let's go ahead and do the pack trick. We got the energy. Actually, there's no pack trick. Let's just go ahead and reveal the cards one by one guys and i'm already seeing a clear border guys so that's definitely a hollow right there come on we got a stout land we got a capsicum and we got a clay doll i'm sorry you had to see that so guys unfortunately our only pool was this full art trainer card but that's not our only pool technically in today's episode we pulled a total of 101 ultra rares. We got one, and then we got 100. You feel me? Literally 100 ultra rares. Over 100 ultra rares in today's episode. Let me know which one was your most favorite in the comments, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. And yes, everybody and they mama knows that these cards are not legit. Peace.